Okay, I'm going to show how to knead bread dough now. You want to start out with a clean table surface. Make sure your hands are clean, no lotions, no creams, no jewelry, especially no fingernail polish because that can actually get stuck to your bread dough. Lay down a generous amount of flour on the board you're going to be kneading onto. I'm going to take your dough, scrape up any extra in here. If you can't get your dough out just with the spatula, just take a bit of flour, put it in there, and get your little scraps out. Okay, the object of kneading bread is to basically get all the air out of your dough because if you don't get it out in the kneading process, you'll find big air pockets in your dough. Um, kneading is also what helps you to get the the right texture, the right fluffiness, and all of that other good stuff we associate with homemade bread. So starting out, just make it into, you know, kind of a, a pie shape, adding flour as necessary. You're going to find that the more you spread it out, the stickier it seems to get. You're going to need to keep expanding your flour circle on the table. And after you get it out to about a size where it's manageable, you're going to notice that on the corners, like right here, there are actually air pockets coming out. As you squeeze them to the edge, they're going to pop on you, which is exactly what you want to happen. When it gets about to this size, go ahead and fold it up in fourths. And that's going to make a nice little triangle for you like this. You want to start at the bottom corner and knead outward, getting like I said, as many of the bubbles out as you go. Anytime you run into a sticky spot or you feel like the dough is starting to stick to your fingers, just go ahead and reach in and grab some more. Don't over flour stuff trying to, you know, keep your dough from getting sticky. Uh, preemptive flouring is not a good idea because what it'll do is make your bread really um, sort of thick and floury tasting and that is not the end result we're going for. Okay. Your knead time will really depend on the recipe. Uh, go ahead and follow whatever the recipe says knead time wise. With a regular white bread, I try to knead for at least eight or nine minutes, although I think, I think some recipes suggest 10. Really it's up to you. Uh, you'll know when your bread is ready to stop kneading because it will become very elastic, very difficult to knead, and actually as you push it down you will notice it springing almost immediately back up towards you. That's when you want to stop kneading. If you've gotten as many air bubbles out as you possibly can, that's really the best time because if you over knead it, like I said, it's, it's going to ruin the texture. So that's the basics of kneading bread and um, this I'll probably knead for about five more minutes and then we'll be ready to pop it in the oven. You can check out my recipe for beginner's white bread on the website at www.mastermom.com and I'll probably link to it somewhere either in the comments or on this video. Thanks, have a great day.